You saw when they announced that Believers Love World yesterday, Elon Musk is the top partner with the Rhapsody of Realities. Hello my wonderful viewers, welcome back to my channel, Agapain TV, still your favorite TV. It's my pleasure to have you here today guys. Kindly hit the subscribe button if this is your first time coming to my channel. So quickly guys, in the edition of today's video, we have the highly esteemed man of God, Apostle Femi Lazarus, who went ahead to share his thoughts consigning Elion Mox give, being given the award for um, Rhapsody of Reality's top partner. I would want you to listen to what he has to say, guys, and pick some lessons from what he said. And um, also, after that, you're going to also listen to another man of God. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like I said earlier, if this is your first time. Stay tuned, it guys. I think I said it in workers' meeting. That when people tell me, oh, grace, grace, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Let me teach you the word we pray and carry what you carry. But I can tell you at this phase of my life, there's grace. That's the fact. There is what? Grace. There's grace. It is your portion. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank you. Um, the pastor is all our leaders at Crossboard, stewards, every member of this church. Thank you. Thank you for being people that make pastoring easy. Mm. Thank you for being the fulfillment of prophecies. Thank you. Thank you for loving us the way you've done. You, you didn't have to celebrate us, but you went out of your way too. We're grateful. And it's my sincere prayer that God will keep you you will always be celebrated in the name of Jesus. You will not be missing on the day of your joy. The Lord who made the heavens and the earth will keep you and he will bless you in Jesus' name. Again, we want to say that we just made a little... We, we wanted all of us to sit around the table and eat together this morning but our population, this place can't take us for that. Alright, so that's why we have to go for the option of parking. But there are drinks outside for us to have a meet and greet session. Um, we, we had evening of worship here on Friday, so for those who were not on ground at that time, I think I have 10 minutes just the outside, and we can take some pictures together, and then you can network with friends, and then meet new people, and don't be in a hurry to run home to at least. Let's see your face now. Ah. Monday now you are going to work. Today, let's enjoy it more. Alright, and if they are yet to serve you, we made more than enough. Alright, so please, let them put on the lights so they can see you. Uh, media, help us on light. So you can, people can, uh, nobody should go home without eating today. Amen. Uh -huh, yes, you. Thank you. Alright, God bless you so much. Um, this week there is no Bible study here. I'm going to be teaching from Kano. All right, so not like we could not have held it here, but because this week is for Kano Apostolic Conference. All right, so and then once we return, we start moving straight into Light Camp. Right. And I told you in workers' meeting that when you come for Light Camp, at some point you will beg that is enough. Like the world is trying to explode you, but we are not going to stop because it is the season of light, amen. And God will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. I don't know if there's anything I've missed. I have six books that are still coming out this year, we've been working tirelessly, but there is one of them specifically I want to speak about. It is titled A Crowd That Wants Small Things. It's a serious work. It's over a thousand pages. And that book, it's, uh, I think, should I say, because let me just say that particular one is my birthday gift to Africa. All right? So once we release that book, this country cannot say we have not tried. Let me tell you, see, listen, you know, people have been saying that all these Nigerian pastors go to church, give tight. Elon Musk, they give tight.
Every month. Every month. See. Lydia, cut, cut, cut that. You saw when they announced that Believers Love World yesterday, Elon Musk is the top partner with the Rhapsody of Realities, giving over $10 million. You are the one who is just finding out. We know stuff that we wish you know. And sometimes we just join the multitude to make empty noise because there's depravity in Africa. And there's also a high level of lack of identity that people take their pride or find their form in joining the bandwagon just to say things. But that's not who we are here. We are people of light. We are people of what? Light. Again, Light Nation Church Global. Thank you. I'm so privileged to pastor you guys. Most of you were shocked now when you saw that Elon Musk is one of the biggest partners of the rap oh, sorry, of Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You are shocked. But have you forgotten that I told you here some months ago that many of these men that you are seeing that you feel they don't belong to God are part of great things God is doing. Glass, in the name of Jesus, come to my eyes now, I command thee. Maybe because I'm sweating, let me clean it. You glass, come to my eyes now. Maybe I've not prayed in tongues. Maybe I've not spoken in capital letters. You know, people think capital letter tongue is where you now use strong. That's not what makes it. But there is a law. You see, whether I pray and fast, it will not come to my eyes. But there is a law of work. This has saved the one hour prayer, 30 minutes prayer. And on that few seconds, I've obeyed the law. So there is a law that is laid for believers to obey, to receive certain blessings. But if the unbelievers know that law and obey that law, they get the same result a believer should get. Most of you were shocked now when you saw that Elon Musk is one of the biggest partners of the rap. Oh, sorry, of Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You are shocked. But have you forgotten that I told you here some months ago that many of these men that you are seeing that you feel they don't belong to God are part of great things God is doing. That their finances are financing so many things in the kingdom. While you are here, busy still arguing about tight offering, pastor enriching, there are people that are wealthy that understand kingdom principles. Look at Trump. Regardless of everything that happened to that man, he stood for Christ. Now, we're not saying that he is the best, but he is better than everyone that was coming to contest. And the moment he went into power, the one you thought was not a believer, the one you thought that was not holy, the one you thought that doesn't pray in tongue, look at what he's doing. If this thing was not shown by love, word, you wouldn't have known that Elon Musk was actually a partner. And guess what? Don't think he's giving what you think he's giving. Don't think he's giving $1,000 one. He's partnering with that. And because he's obeying that principle... Whether he is a strong believer or not a strong believer, the reward that comes to anyone that obeys that particular law, he will receive it. So if the law is the law of open door, he will have it. If the law is the law of reward of long life, it will, it, he will have it. Because obeying the law. You will be shocked when Bill Gates will come out for his own. I don't know. I'm just telling you that many of these worldly men, I told you about Mark Zuckerberg, he saw a video where he talked about, he said that he can't deny the existence of God. He knows there is a supreme God that exists. And according to the Bible, that the Bible captures more than what any other book has ever captured. These men are so intelligent and they have access to information that many of us don't have. I told that any man that is in power, that has wealth, that comes and says there is no God, he is intentionally deceiving himself and denying something. We saw the video of uh, a man of God, uh, a bro, um, this man that came and gave an offering of one billion. We never knew, everyone was laughing, we didn't know why he gave one billion until when he told the story of how God intervened in his case. Of a contract worth two billion dollars, then you understood why there was a seed of one billion naira. They don't come out and talk, and even when they talk, the bloggers will not carry it so that you don't know. And you that you are here, you don't know that these are principles that these people are obeying. They are only obeying a principle, and these principles are what you are constantly being taught. Manamata chuku kotin se nye chuku five hundred naira mbano 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 
bano nen ki ka na ebo fu ebe ka na sokwa no mbano see now listen you know what, if you talk about giving they look like you are looking for money i'm not looking for money i don't want money i'm teaching you what will help you whatever law you you apply whatever law you obey you receive the reward if you jump up you must come down if you jump up you help your heart if you run every morning you are helping your heart and helping your body email you you're not helping your heart that's a law of okay guys there we have it with this man of god i hope this um video was a blessing to you and you picked some few points from what they said you know it is very paramount to have your man of god be in good terms with you or you being in good terms with him because the more he is happy the more the anointing flows to the um, um to the congregation so if you are listening to me right now i would want you to do everything possible to um to make sure god is pleased with you and your man of god also thank you guys for staying tuned to this point and like i said earlier if this is your first time coming to my channel please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and also ring our notification bell so you get to see our videos whenever we drop them kindly share your thoughts in the comment section below and also hit um, um share our videos thank you guys and hoping to see you in our next edition Thank you and God bless you.